Hi guys, it's Tiny Tay, and I'm back today to show you guys my shopping haul. So, um, let's get started. Well, a little disclaimer before we do this. Most of these sizes are going to be kid size clothing, because that's the size that I wear. And my shoes are also going to be kids' shoes as well, just so that no one gets their hopes up. But I can link some of these things below, so that way you can find it in your size, or just find where I got them from. Um, I'm going to start off with these sunglasses that are super cute. I got these from Charlotte Russe. They were $4. All of their sunglasses have been $4 for like four months. <laughs> and so I always go there to get my sunglasses because if you follow me on Instagram, you know I have really cool sunglasses. And I get so upset when I lose a pair or if anything happens to them. Uh, sunglasses are my favorite accessory, so I take pride in having really nice ones. Um... This is a nail polish that I got. It's like rose gold glitter-ish. It's only $4 from TJ Maxx. I was like, I can't pass it up. It's a super cute color. Why not? And I get my nails done a lot, so it makes sense for me to bring my own polish to the salon sometimes because they don't always have the color that I'm looking for. This is a folk art coloring book that I got from um, Joann's. It's $12.97, but it retails at $30. I got it on clearance, and it's just, like, full of all these coloring pictures. I haven't cut any yet, because I usually like to do these on long car rides, and I haven't been on one since I got it. I actually got that on my Albany trip. Um, these I got from Windsor. These retail at $28, and I got them on sale for $15. Nice suede black booty in a size 5. That's going to be a 5 in moments. Um, I was like, you never know when you're going to need a nice black shoe. How can I pass it up? So I got it. Um, these are Dance Goes. Nursing shoes. Very popular nursing shoes. If you don't know, that's what I'm going to college for in the fall. Um, I couldn't find the other one <laughs> for this video, so I'm only going to show you one today. But they're really nice leather. Um, these retail at $140, but I got them at a local thrift for $28. So obviously I couldn't pass up that deal. Um, my next thrift deal, I got these Steve Madden wedges from a thrift as well. They were $16 and a size 5. They're nude. They have an ankle strap, gold belt accent. So I was like, I'm going to get these. They're super cute. Can't go wrong with a nude shoe. Next, I got these nipple covers because um, I have my nipples pierced and sometimes, you know, it's not acceptable to have my nipples out. Um, they're like sequins, sequins, sparkly pasties. I got these for $4.90 at Forever 21. They were buy one, get one, but I used the other ones already, so. Next, I got these Steve Madden bed sheets from Ross for $10.00. Teal, my favorite color, the color of my room, the color of my bed set for college in the fall. So I was like, for $9, why not? Can't really go wrong, and obviously I need something to sleep on. Um, next, I got this super cute red purse from Target. It can be either, you know, a, a elbow bag or a crossbody. I usually don't use crossbody bags because I had um, a rotator cuff injury, so it gets irritated pretty easily, and then, you know... I'm not in the mood to carry my purse or do whatever I'm doing after that. This is just a cute little red bag. I usually carry my Louis Vuittons, but I don't have a bright red one, obviously. So, um, I got a red one. This is really cute from Target. It's Marona brand, and it was $20. Very cheap, nice red purse. Um, I got these rainbows from Menards. Again, I can't find the other one. Actually, I got these from Farm and Fleet. They were actually made in the USA. I can't find the other one because my room is messy. But they're purple and they go with a raincoat that I have. It's very rainy right now and in the spring in Wisconsin. So I was like, why not? I have rainbows to match all of my raincoats. It's kind of like a thing that I do. So on to the rest of the shoes. Um, I got some JDI collection Air Force Ones in a two and a half preschool which are featured in my thumbnail. These are super cute. I cannot pass up. Um, the whole JDI collection, honestly, I love so much. I really liked, I think it was 
the Zoom Runners or whatever they were called. I really liked those, but they did not come in my size. And I really liked how the grade school Air Force Ones came out with all the patches on it, the bright orange pair. But, of course, my preschool size pair only had one patch on it. So I decided against those and I decided to get these ones. Which I have not ever bought a pair of Air Force Ones. I've never spent my own money on a pair of Air Force Ones until today because normally I don't like them and I have narrow feet so they can be kind of clunky if I don't get the right size. Next, I got some Vans. These rainbow super cute slip-on Vans in a size 3. So I saw these at Journeys and the guy there told me that they were a Journeys exclusive. So I'm like, mm, okay, but I don't shop at Journeys because I don't like um, the service that I get at either of the Journeys in any of our malls. So um, I went to Foot Action and they had them. So they're not a Journeys exclusive and I got them. Super excited about that. The next pair of Vans I got, oh, and um... These retail at $35, and these Air Forces retail at $65. Next, I haven't even laced these up or even tried them on yet. Another pair of Vans, but the tie-up ones. They have this red and white checker on them. I was like, why not get a basic pair of red and white Vans, so that way I won't have to wear my red and white Jordans all the time. And when I go places, sometimes I don't like wearing my Jordans because I don't want to clean them after so why not get Vans? Vans are kind of like a shoe for me that are meant to be dirty. Like, it's okay if they're not, you know, super clean. Like, it's kind of just not, you know, something that I would keep up with. Next, I got these from Target. These retail at $30. I went all over looking for these because um, they told me that they were at a Target and they were not at a Target and I ended up, after I stopped looking, I ended up finding them at a Target in New Berlin, which is far from where I live. So, I was pretty peeved about that and I love them so much, I searched all over for them and I have yet to find a place to wear them to. So, those will be, I guess, saved until next like summer. Um... But I really love that yellow color, so I was like, I need them. They had black as well, but the black ones were nowhere to be found at Next, shadow ones. Ah! So when these first came in um, at my local Foot Locker, they only had grade school for like three months. And then they got infant, and I'm like, where's the preschool at? Eventually, they came in, and I got my size 2.5. Super excited. Very nice leather. Nice quality for preschool. Pretty happy with these. Um, when they first, when I first heard that they were releasing in preschool and infant, I'm like, no, they're not. Like, Jordan Brand never releases any good ones for preschool or infant. Like, they never spoil us. They never give us things like that. And they proved me wrong. So, shout out to Jordan Brand because I was actually, like, shocked that they released them in our size. Next, Katrina 3's. I was on the fence about these for so long. I'm like, I really want them, but I don't know. Like, but, you know, I had to pull the trigger. And I got them. Um, super cute. Very nice tumbled leather. Again, 3Y. No air bubble. Just plain sole. Um... And I think that is it for all of our shoes. So now we're going to move into the clothes. And I'm going to show you guys all of the freaking clothes I got. So to start off with, JDI sweater. It has Nike swoosh on it. Nike logo all over it. All over the pockets. Back. Sleeves. The hood. Every inch of this sweater is Covered in Nike, and I love it. We had a black one, but I'm like, no, I need the orange. The orange stands out so good. This retails at $50, and it was worth it. I got it in a kid's large because the medium was really snug, and normally the medium I usually have extra, like, space at the bottom for it. Yeah, no, these ones were really, really tight. The only thing that can make this sweater better is if it had black drawstrings, which, you know, I'll take what I can get. Not, not complaining here. Um, next, I got these pants from Forever 21, kind of mustard yellow pants. They have, like, ruffles at the top. You tie the 
string into a bow. Super cute. These retail at $19.90. And the next thing I got was this champion sweater. It just has the champion logo embroidered right there. Um, this was $45. I've tried not to fall too much into the champion trap, but this and the next thing got me. I really like this. It's my favorite color, as I've said many times throughout this video. I really love that color. And I have a lot of shoes to go with it. The next thing I got was this champion shirt. This has the black and red champion logo, um, stitched into it. And then this was $28. I got this in a kid's medium. Um, this is to match my Katrina 3's or honestly any other red and black Jordan or shoe that I have because there's so many. The next I got, this is probably my favorite thing throughout the entire haul, is going to be this bodysuit. It's got like, um, white stripes on it and it has a little metal bar in there so that way it keeps, it stays kind of down instead of like bending and moving around. Might have a nip slip. This was originally $19.90, and I got it on sale for $7, so it's my favorite thing, and it was a deal. Um, the next thing I got was this nude skirt to go with that nude shirt and my nude shoes. It's basically an outfit. Um, this retail at $10.90, and I got it on sale for $7, and those were actually buy one, get one free, so I only paid $7 for one of those. The next thing I got was this romper from Target. I think this is actually from the 4th of July because of the stripes and the stars on the end. But, um, it was $17.99 and I paid $10 for it. And I got a large because Cat and Jack's sizing is weird. The normal medium 1012 that I would have got is kind of like the generic 1012 for most brands. But Cat and Jack's large is a 1012. So, I obviously have to get the large because I need the 1012. The next thing I got was this teal champion dress. Um, you guys know, this is my favorite color. Again, this dress was $35. It has 19 on the back. Super cute. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to wear this. I haven't had anywhere to wear it to yet, but soon. Um, and I got this in a large because the medium was very close to showing my goodies. Um, the next thing I got here was an Adidas dress. This is kind of ugly when it's not on your body. A lot of people don't like it, but once I put it on, I fell in love with it. It's a size medium. It was $45. It looks like the hips are so low, but it fits perfectly on a body type like mine. Um, I really like this dress, and I've already worn it twice. And for $45, you can't really beat that. This is another bodysuit. I'm a big bodysuit girl. It's just a black one with, like, a cinched boob area. I think this was, yeah, this was $7. I got a size small. I wish they had extra smalls, but they don't, so I deal with that. This is a tube top I got from Forever 21. They were two for $8, but I only got one because I couldn't find another one in my size. Um, this is just blue with, you know, some white stars on it, basic crop top. The next thing I got, which is my second favorite thing of this haul, was a hammock. If you look closely, it has mini Mickey Mouse ears on it and stars, and it's also red, white, and blue. Um, this is from... The Target and, um, I think it's called, like, Good Vibes mini, um, collaboration. And I got this hammock for $7 because a lot of the things are on sale now. So go check out your local Target if you're interested in buying a hammock. You can see. $7. And, um, yeah, it's a hammock. So go get one. And we can be, we can have matching hammocks. Last but not least is one of my most expensive items from this haul, which I thought I had a hanger laying around, but I don't. So, for all of my big sneaker fans watching this, this will be um, exciting for you guys. Oh, it already has a hanger in it. Look at that. This is a Public School X Jordan collaboration coat. Um... This coat retails at $400, and I paid 
$179.79 and I had a coupon. So I actually only paid $150. I really like this coat because obviously it gets really cold where I live, um, and on it has super cool designs. This side is like flat, this side is puffy, this is kind of like Nike Tech Fleece material, um, and then it's got the button as well as the zip up, which I like because I like to stuff my scarves into my neck because I don't like my chest being exposed in the winter time. This is an extra small, but obviously it's still huge. But I really can't wait for the winter time to wear this. Um, this is probably, besides my North Face parka, um, the only coat that I will be wearing in the winter time. And I know a lot of people are like, why don't you just resell it? Why don't you resell it? Because I'm not in the resell game. I buy what I like, and I like this coat. And honestly, if it would have been $400, I probably would have paid the $400 for it because that's how much I like it. It's only even better that I got it for more than half you know, more than half of that. So, this is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, watch my What's in My Bag video. Thank you guys. Comment any, like, suggestions or any questions you have on anything that I got or sizing. Feel free. Bye, guys.